Warfare technologies are improving every year and becoming more powerful, threatening, and deadly overall. Today, you'll be learning a bit about the M109 Paladin, a piece of self-propelled artillery, which has already been roaming the battlefields of Ukraine and inflicting devastating losses on the enemy. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The Paladin M109 is manufactured by the military company BAE Systems. It's regarded as a new generation artillery system, and you'll understand why exactly as we move further into today's video. The tasks of such equipment include providing maximum fire support during various combat missions in a variety of different conditions. In fact, this is a versatile long-range combat platform that, in certain respects, still does an excellent job at close range. The howitzer's production began back in May of 2014, when the manufacturer received a $700 million contract from the US government. At that time, only a few experimental complexes were produced in order to conduct all kinds of tests regarding its firepower and practicality. By 2018, mass production of the Paladins had already begun. Now these 155mm guns are the latest weapons in the US Army, meaning that Ukrainian artillerymen receive specifically modern weapons and not old decommissioned self-propelled guns. The new M109 utilizes some of the technology originally developed for the XM-2001 Crusader's self-propelled howitzers. Some civilians even call it a tank, since it can rotate its turret 360 degrees. But the fact of the matter is that it's a much more dangerous weapon. This newer machine, unlike the previous ones, received an update for literally everything. The hull, turret, engine, and suspension systems, which ensures greater reliability, survivability, and efficiency. The Paladin is able to provide fire support in all kinds of weather conditions thanks to all sorts of high-tech sensors. Even the cannon is equipped with digital fire control and an advanced charging and reloading system that increases its overall combat potential. As a result, the M109 can quickly take up an advantageous position, and after a single shot, immediately take cover in the distance, which is a critical thing in a war. This artillery system also boasts a formidable 155mm auto-reloading cannon. It can fire at a steady rate of one round per minute. While the maximum rate of fire is four rounds per minute, the firing range is also solid, ranging from 14 miles when firing standard projectiles to up to 18 miles when using rocket-propelled warheads. And even this isn't the limit. The Paladin can also fire precision-guided Excalibur projectiles with a maximum range of up to 25 miles. This is definitely enough to destroy some random tank passing by at a safe distance. Upon arrival at its firing position, the system independently determines the location of enemy self-propelled guns using its very accurate infrared sensors, after which firing data is subsequently provided. The M109A7 Paladin has a short reaction and redeployment time. This allows it to immediately start moving after the shot, which helps to avoid return fire. One has to admit, this is a huge plus in comparison with conventional tanks. Once the vehicle has moved to a new position, it will be ready to fire again within 60 seconds. This mobility also provides high firepower overall. However, this self-propelled gun cannot boast of strong armor. The armor certainly does provide protection from small arms fire and artillery shell fragments though, but from a direct hit won't turn out as well. Of course, the designers did provide the option to equip the vehicle with an additional set of armor for a higher level of protection, but even this wouldn't be enough. Still, it does have a reinforced turret with a Kevlar lining that provides some protection against fragments and high explosive shells. Like all modern self-propelled guns, the M109 is equipped with an anti-interference system and an automatic fire extinguishing system. This howitzer is also equipped with brute force tracker technology for friendly or hostile recognition. The new electric drives and transmission components, as well as the air conditioning system, are all powered by a 600 volt common electrical system. Each self-propelled howitzer is also accompanied by a corresponding M992A3 ammunition transport vehicle. Like its predecessors, the Paladin is equipped with the same 600 horsepower Cummins engine as in the standard Bradley combat vehicle. However, the transition to an electric turret involved a significant restructuring of the power system. The power system's modularity means that if any of the internal motors fail, 
it can be replaced in the field in less than 15 minutes. Not a single tank or howitzer has such efficiency. This means that the crew can deal with the problem on their own and continue the combat mission, instead of heading back to the rear for long repair work. The chassis is manufactured and assembled from M3 Bradley components such as engines, transmission components, gears, etc. This option was chosen, first, to save time on production, and second, this chassis has already proven its reliability and is time-tested. As for the range, the M109 has a fuel tank capacity of 545 liters and can go exactly 200 miles without refueling, and all that at a speed of 38 miles per hour. Just like a true fighter, the Paladin is not afraid of any obstacles and can cross deep fords and trenches up to 2 meters deep. The M109's crew consists of four people, specifically the commander, driver, gunner, and loader. If necessary, it can accommodate two more people if the combat mission requires it. The commander's spot, located in the right section of the turret, is equipped with a periscope observation device and a heavy machine gun that can also rotate 360 degrees. Such a machine gun can easily neutralize an ambushed fighter, or even shoot down low-flying aircraft. This is a huge advantage to the machine's overall protective capabilities. Generally speaking, the Paladin is a highly effective and very powerful artillery setup. It has all the necessary qualities to seize the advantage on the battlefield. We've already identified the strengths and weaknesses of M109. Now let's compare the effectiveness of the primary self-propelled howitzers in service with both Russia and the US. The closest Russian equivalent to the Paladin is the 2S19 Mista S, so we'll compare the howitzer with this one. The American howitzer is extremely reliable, versatile, and fairly accurate, especially the accuracy part. This is where it really wins, but in terms of firing speed, it cannot be compared with the Russian artillery system. Although the Paladin is equipped with an automatic reload system, the 2S19 Mista S, thanks to the more advanced software in the automatic loader, fires at a speed of up to 8 rounds per minute. This is twice as fast as the M109. The 2S19 M2 version's rate of fire is further increased to 10 rounds per minute. Nevertheless, they have the same combat power, can even fire similar types of ammunition and at the same range. In terms of armor, they're also on par with each other. As is typical with such machines, they cannot be well protected, although given other respects, this is not as critical. Generally speaking, the main difference between these howitzers comes down to the rate of fire and the degree of integration into combat operations. The Paladin is more versatile and accurate, but slower. It makes no sense to choose which of these is more important, since different characteristics come in handy in different situations. Granted, it is worth noting that the M109 has not exhausted its potential for improvement, and every year it becomes more and more perfect, so soon enough we'll be seeing a much stronger modification. The appearance of such a powerful howitzer at the forefront of the Russian-Ukrainian war will allow Ukrainian defenders to deliver powerful blows against enemy positions, which can significantly affect the course of events in this confrontation. After all, the armed forces of Ukraine have repeatedly proven that they know how to fight and effectively destroy the enemy. Ukrainian gunners, using all the power these howitzers bring, along with ultra-modern technical means, are inflicting crushing blows on the enemy. It was the successful acts on the part of their artillery units that have allowed the defenders of this country to push the opponent back away from Kharkov, as well as to inflict powerful blows on them in the Donbass region and southern Ukraine. And this is just the beginning. As we speak, there are already new and improved vehicles equipped with the latest technological trends coming into the hands of the military, so soon enough the Paladin will display its real power. We've now come to the end of today's video. You can support the channel by leaving a like and commenting on what you saw in the video. Feedback and interaction from all of you is what strongly motivates us to continue our work and improve our content. Many thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.